Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is your general science teacher, Sadia Jahanzi. Today we are going to take a start with the first chapter that is cells, tissues and organs. But before starting our chapter, I want to let you know about the notes that ha are uploaded on the portal where you can download them and you have to write it on your need class for copies and start memorizing it. Now take out your books, page number 2. We will start discussing our first topic that is cells. We will go through the definition first. As we all know that living things on earth from tiniest creatures to the tallest of the trees are made up of microscopic parts. Now these microscopic parts are called cells or you can say that tiny units are called cells. Both are the similar things. So the definition over here as it's shown on the screen all organisms, plants and animals are made up of tiny units called cells. Now basically organisms are of two types. One is unicellular organisms and the other one is multicellular organisms. But we will discuss it later. Now, sometimes the cells are also called as the building blocks of life because cells are the basic structures they are composed of. Now who they are composed of? Like the plants and animals. Here we are talking about the living organisms. Now although there are many many different types of cells that all have different jobs to do, most cells have something in common which I'm going to discuss with you. But before, before that I want you to take an example of your classroom. Just like in your classroom, there is such a teacher and students. What does the teacher do? He distributes students in different duties. He makes a proctor, he makes a uniform in charge, he makes a cupboard in charge. So similarly in the cell, the same thing happens. In the cell, there is such a thing that different features are different perform karte hain. Now let's start with the first feature that is cell membrane. Now what's the function of cell membrane? It controls what goes into and out of the cell. The function of cell is it allows the things to come inside and out of the cell. It will only allow those things that are useful for the cell and it will not let anything that is harmful for the cell. Next is cytoplasm. Now cytoplasm is actually a jelly-like substance. It is a jelly-like substance which makes up most of the cell in both plants and animals. Anyone can ask you a question. A jelly-like substance is known as, then you have to say a jelly-like substance is known as cytoplasm. Or they can say what is cytoplasm? Then you have to answer a jelly-like substance is known as cytoplasm. So it is common in both plant cells as well as in animal cells. Next is organelles. Now what are actually organelles? In a cytoplasm there are a number of small structures. For example, mitochondria and ribosome. Now these small structures are known as organelles. Anyone can ask you a question. What are organelles? You have to say small structures in cytoplasm is known as organelles. And if they ask you for the example, then you can give them example of mitochondria and ribosome. There are many other organelles as well in the um, cell, but we here we are going to discuss just two of them. Now, mitochondria. What is the function of mitochondria? Its function is to produce energy for the cell. And ribosomes, it makes proteins for the cell. Third is nucleus, which is the most important. Now, what is the function of nucleus? Here you can take a nucleus as an example of your teacher. जैसे कि आपकी टीचर का काम होता है कि वो आपको बताती है कि आपने क्या काम करना है क्या काम नहीं करना है इसी तरह न्यूक्लियस का फंक्शन होता है कि वो सेल्स के बाकी के जो फीचर्स हैं या बाकी के जो इसमें पार्ट्स हैं उनको बताता है कि उन्होंने कौन सा काम किस टाइम परफॉर्म करना है फॉर एग्जांपल न्यूक्लियस विल कमांड माइट्रोकोंडिया दैट यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी फॉर द सेल एट दिस टाइम और इट कैन कमांड अ राइबोसोम दैट इट हैज टू प्रोड्यूस अ प्रोटीन्स एट दिस टाइम now uh, let's take a start with our first function of the nucleus it controls all the activities of the cell as i have mentioned before uh, number second is it contains dna which transfers the characters now what is dna dna is actually a deoxyribonucleic acid dna contains all the information of an organism whether it's a plant or animal let's take an example in human beings for example in human beings the dna will contain the information of the person uh, hair color, eyes color, his body shape, 
is uh, hide each and everything it stores in dna so it's the main part of the nucleus a cell without a nucleus cannot reproduce it's really simple a cell which do not have a uh, uh, nucleus cannot reproduce number uh, fourth point is it contains a substance called dna as i have uh, mentioned it be before so now the next topic is about structure of plants and animal cell here the diagram is given on the screen you can see that and as well as on the, your books page number three in the diagram i will explain the similarities and in the table i will explain the differences between animal cell and plant cell mm -hmm. Now, first of all, what both have common, both have cell membrane. In plant cell and animal cell, both have cell membrane. If you can see on the, uh, in the diagram, this outer layer in both structure is known as cell membrane. Now, the second one is cytoplasm. In plant cell and in animal uh, cell, both have cytoplasm. If you people remember, I have told you earlier, the cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance. And if you can see this area, this blank area in the diagram, in both diagrams, this area is a jelly-like substance which is known as cytoplasm. Number third one is nucleus. Both have nucleus. Number fourth is mitochondria. Both have mitochondria. Now we will talk about the differences of plant and animal cell. First, we will go through the animal cell. The outer covering is called cell membrane. In animal cell, their outer covering is cell membrane. But in plant cell, if you can see, there is a double line in the structure of plant cell. The outer covering is cell wall, which is mentioned here, cellulose cell wall. And the inner of it is cell membrane. So the outer covering in plant, animal cell is cell membrane while the outer covering in the plant cell is cell wall number second difference is there are many small vacuoles while in plant cell there is a large central vacuole in the diagram you can see a large central vacuole but in animal cell there are many small vacuoles number third point is chloroplasts are absent in animal cell chloroplasts are absent if you people remember, I have told you, chloroplasts are actually a green color pigment. It's a green color pigment which is present only in plants, which help in the synthesis of food. Number fourth point is, and in the diagram you can see this green color pigment. These green color structures are actually uh, chloroplasts. Number four point is, nucleus is present in the center. And in uh, plant cell, nucleus is pushed to the side. Now you can see the diagram over here. In here, in animal cell, the nucleus is in a center, while in a plant cell, it's pushed a little bit to the side of it. This was all about structure of plants and animal cell. I hope you get each and every point of it. But if you don't, just pause the video and repeat it again. Now before going, uh, closing the video, I want to give you a little home task which you are supposed to perform on the books. So take out the book page number 12 in which you have to do question number 5, 6, 7, 8 on the books. No need to write it on the uh, neat uh, class for copies. So here is another question number 9 which is about a diagram question in your books. You have to label the diagram on the books. So thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.